Okay, so I originally wasn't going to make a video on this issue, but I felt that there was some kind of moral obligation to making this. Either that, or I'm just a depraved YouTuber trying to milk some views and produce some income for the next few months. But nonetheless, most of you know why you're here, and so we'll jump right into the deep end here, and I'll offer my two cents regarding Motorsport's newest public enemy number one. Now before we jump into the nitty gritty here, stick around until the end before we get all big willy and start typing on that keyboard of yours, eh? I just want to survey the whole area here and suss out exactly what this cat is all about. You know, because I think that's only fair. Right on. So the person in question is Luca Corberi, an Italian karting driver and a part of the Tony Kart racing team. Or at least I think he is. Well, was now. Corberi comes from a background where karting is life. Like, literally. His father owns the South Garda kart track in Lonardo, Italy, one of the best karting tracks in the world and a staple of the world karting scene. Corberi's karting career consisted of several titles, including the ROK Cup International in 2009 and the Bridgestone Cup in 2011. Although his crowning achievement came in 2012 when he won the World Karting Championship, beating out the likes of Callum Milot, Alex Pillow, Dan Tictum, huh? George Russell, Jihan Deruvula, and Sir Lancelot Stroll. So this guy had some talent, but he never progressed up to cars. Which is understandable. Some drivers can make a good run of it in carts alone. An example being the legend that is Dave Sira. So anyway, skip ahead to the year 2020, now age 23, still in the karting scene, and competing in the World Karting Championship at his literal home track of Lonardo. Competing in the KZ class, Corberi found himself outside the top 10 in the final. On lap 9, competitor Paolo Ipiloto attempted to overtake Corberi heading into the fast first section of the track. The resulting collision saw Corberi thrown off into the wall and out of the race. I guess I guess you could say that was impolito. Understandably, Corberry was upset with the fact he was taken out of 16th place in the World Karting Championship final, but instead of drowning out his sorrows through a case of malt liquor or a Tomo F1 binge, he instead elected to stand on the side of the track with his now detached front pot. Now, it would be stupid of him to do something like throw it at another driver or something. I mean, who in their right mind would do such a thing? No, wait, no, no. Luca, no! He did it. Thing is though, he missed Ippolito, his intended target, and instead he hit poor Peter Petacek. Nevertheless, the race continued, and the race and title was won by Jeremy Iglesias in a fine drive by the Frenchman. He celebrated in Parc Ferme with his team while the other drivers consolidated what could have been. And guess who decided to turn up? Corberry coming in hot here with a ruck clean out. Yeah, that was Ippolito who he just cleaned up. This caused further commotion in the pit lane and attracted Corberry's father, who also decided to join in on the fight, in the most f***ed up father-son racing partnership since the Ferrucci's. Following this, the stewards issued their verdict regarding the incidents that took place between Ippolito and Corberry. They decided that Ippolito could not avoid to make contact with driver 61, Corberry, and following that action, forced the driver 61 to retire. But they disqualified him anyway. With Corberry, he too was disqualified from the competition for a bad maneuver. I'm sorry, bad maneuver? No, no, Giotto and Mazepin hitting each other in Mugello? That's a bad manoeuvre. Guy trying to catch Bell Ball with pizza in hand? Bad manoeuvre. Getting into Bill Cosby's limit? You get what I mean. This though was straight up assault. And really? 2009 Formula 1 world champion Jensen Button said it best. Luca Corberry has just destroyed any chance he had at a racing career after his disgusting behaviour today at the FIA Karting World Champs. His father owns the circuit and has seen power driving that guy into the wall. Life ban for both of these idiots, please. Now, life ban seems a little harsh to some, but honestly, if you cannot digest the fact that this type of action is wrong at the age of 23, you do not deserve to be in the sport. It doesn't matter if you're a world karting champion or Johnny Nobody running around with a bent chassis. This sh is not on. The president of CIK FIA, Felipe Massa, was in attendance at the venue. Hopefully the right action is undertaken and Corberry better be hoping that the Carabinieri don't get involved here. I often end my videos by saying don't be a manus. Well, I'm guessing Corberry doesn't watch this channel. Because he's a Manus. This is straight up what a Manus is. So, I guess the fitting way to end this video is once again reminding you all to keep it respectful, be wholesome, don't be a Manus, and as always, I'll see you all later. Okay.